It's the new belt day. So today we are going to end our Intercontinental Championship belt series. That's been brought to us by Arsenia Champs, Arsenio People's Choice Champs, actually. Mayor, my friend, you need to make new bags. Uh, but before we bring you the last of our IC title series, just to address a criticism in the belt reviews, people say, why don't you ever put the belts on? Well, just this once, maybe twice. Uh, here you go. Here's the scratch logo around the waist. Here's what it looks like from the front. Here's what it looks like from the side. Here's what it looks like from the other side. And I don't think you care too much about what it looks like from the back. So we'll skip that. So aside from that Intercontinental Belt, we also brought to you some time ago the Rocks Attitude Era Purple Strapped IC Championship. We also at one point in time took the current IC Championship and we... Put that on a white strap for you to look at to see what you thought. But in addition to that, Umir Ami, People's Choice Champs, I asked them to take us back to one of the three top belt designs people love. They love the winged eagle, they love the big gold, and they also love... The Black Strapped Inter Classic Intercontinental Championship. However, I got it on... I'm going to hold it like Randy Savage, though I'm playing Mr. Perfect's music. Ooh, yeah, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship belt. Yeah. Okay, got that out of the way. I got the Red Block logo one. This is the belt that was originally presented to Tito Santana by Gene Okerlund, two months after Greg Valentine destroyed the Green Intercontinental Championship upon losing it to Tito. Tito lost it to Randy Savage. Uh, Randy Savage lost it to Ricky Steamboat. Ricky Steamboat lost it in the first match I had ever seen live from Buffalo, New York to the Honky Tonk Man, much to my chagrin, and I was in tears. Yes, I was very young at that time. I'm not very young now. I got that out of the way. We're going to take this down, put it down so you can get a closer look at it. So just getting a closer look at this IC championship belt. It is on a five millimeter. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it, it's, it's thicker, not your standard three or four. I got a little heavier, it's on five millimeter zinc plates. I for one prefer the zinc, as a lot of people do, because you get the deeper etching in the belt. You can see the deeper etching in the red block logo. You can see the deeper etching amongst the stars and the letters, okay? Uh, the side plates are very cool, are very thick. One modification I made personally on these is I had uh, those, those lines or those sections in there painted in black. Uh, I think the later version, the non-block logo one, the 90s version had uh, those lines painted in, but I thought it would make them look good on here. The block logo in a continental Played always love those. Oh, and a personal touch. Yeah, I'm the only one in the world to have this. Well, there's no reason why anyone else would. Thank you, Umir. Uh, Mikey T. Madness. It's upside down, I know. Uh, Mikey T. Madness. This was uh, the nickname that I grew up with. Madness has nothing to do with Randy Savage, though you might think so, yeah. But, um... He added that there, so there's no dispute. There's no dispute on who this belt belongs to. 
There's always a great question on preference. Do people prefer zinc? Do people prefer brass? Uh, in most cases, I prefer the zinc because you can get the deep etching. The belt just seems more prestigious and real that way. Uh, however, next time I probably wouldn't get the plates so thick when doing the zinc. But I'm telling you people, if there's any belt one should have for their collection, uh, should always be this one right here. Nothing beats it. Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship belt, 24 karat gold plated, on zinc, five millimeter. Umira, me, you did a great job. Absolutely perfect.